Alright guys, we're doing Faith of Our Fathers for our Piano Hymn Sight Reading lesson today. And it sounds like this. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my sight reading lessons for SeanCheek.com. I'm going to assume you can read music already if we're doing this. If you need help as a beginner or you just are a terrible sight reader and need help with that, you need to try my 132 lessons for sight reading on SeanCheek.com. There are PDF files for every lesson and you can download that to help you. There's sight reading flashcards and all sorts of stuff to help you get going with sight reading. It'll take you through very beginner to through uh, late intermediate. And then there's also tons of other lessons on there like these hymns to help you in, to advance in your sight reading. So I'm going to assume you can read notes. B, E, A, D is our flats because we're in the key of A flat. You can't really see the whole key signature because I'm zoomed in so much. But anytime you have a B, an E, an A, or a D, you're going to flat it automatically because the key of A flat has four flats. Okay? Now, let's start with the left hand because that's what's always weakest, right, is our left hand. So let's attack it first while our brains are fresh. We're paying attention very well. So three, four times, three counts per measure. We're going to start with an A flat on the left hand. The tenor and the bass both have an A flat. That's why there's two stems on it. We're going to keep that A flat. Now, remember I tell you in sight reading to notice when there's a note that stays the same because that will help you measure the other notes, how far away they are. So look at the three A flats. And then we have a D flat above that for the tenors. And then we have an A flat and C there. So A flat, D flat, C, while the basses stay on A flat. We have another A flat and C. And then we're going to move up to B flat and D flat. And then we're going to come back down to A flat and C. Okay? And then we're going to have a D flat octave there for two counts. And then the tenors stay the same while the basses move up to E flat. Okay? Now on this next one, we can't reach that. The C is too far away, and that's because the right hand is going to take it. Okay? Whenever the bass and tenor are too far apart, the right hand will take the tenor note. So that'll go up there. Now, uh, D flat and A flat for our D flat chord. Three of those. One, two, three, and then A flat. Now what you should be doing is trying, you know, download your PDF on SeanCheek.com, and then try it yourself, okay? Try to read through it yourself first, and then you can watch me and check and see if you got it right. Okay, but that's the best thing you can do, is to give it a shot yourself first. A flat octave, and then we have C and A flat together. Then we'll have a B flat octave there, and then uh, the tenors go down to A flat, while the basses maintain that B flat on the bottom. And then we're going to have E flat and G together. One, two, three, ah. I knew that was coming up. Okay. Two, three. Now the right hand uh, is going to have E flat and C together. Or, sorry, right here. E flat and C. And we maintain the E flats on the bottom. But the sopranos go C, B flat, A flat, and then E flat and A flat again. And then a G. And then back to E flat and A flat. Then we're going to have F and B flat together, and then an F, and then E flat and G, and then E flat and A flat. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now we continue on. F and A flat together, maybe with one and four, maybe with two and four, whatever you like, and then E flat and G, and then D flat and F, and then C and E flat. So in spite of then we go to E flat and A flat, and then fire, we'll have a D natural. Now why is it natural? Because it would have been a flat, because the key signature has a D flat in it, but it's natural. So D natural and A flat together, then a G, then we go back to A flat, and then we keep that D natural, because naturals are an accidental when they occur uh, like, like here, and they last the whole measure. So D and A flat together, and then the last measure is E flat and B flat together. Three. Now let's put both hands together at a really slow tempo. Here we go. Ready and go. One, two. I forgot to do that and tell you that where the, the C, the right hand takes it. One, two, three. Three, 
Okay? Now that's your, your part one. Uh, the rest of it, part two, we will do on SeanCheek.com. Part three, I'll show you my four-step process. Now it was three, now I'm kind of expanding it into four-step process on how to add notes to any hymn to fill it out. Kind of like I did at the beginning when I played that for you. So that's what we'll do in part three. Hope you guys enjoy it. I will talk to you later.